All right, you may know the name of Baby T. Etowate, the bruising running back for the Roy Royals that helped them to the 4A state championship game last season. Well, there's much more to Baby T. than that. What you do not know is how much adversity has had to deal with during his high school career and the unlikely friendship that has helped him cope with so much loss. Jeremiah Jensen has his incredible story. Baby T. strong, real strong. Physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, yeah, he's strong. Real strong. Roy Sr. Baby T. Etiwadi is one of the best running backs in the state. He played a big role in the Royals' best season in school history. Five-year-old Cannon is his biggest fan. Who's your favorite player? Baby T. Kenan is full of life. He loves life. He loves sports. Kenan has um, some speech issues, and so he's always struggled. He's never had very much confidence. He's always struggled in thinking he can do things and talking to people because people would not understand what he would say. Attending Roy football games has given Cannon a way to express himself without words. His favorite thing to do was to high-five football players, whether he would talk to them or not. I think he kind of felt like he could hide behind the high-fives because he could high-five them without talking to them. It's really helped him because the players don't treat him any different. They'll sit and high-five him whether he can talk really well or not. Every Friday morning, he wakes up to go to school, and he's excited to go to school and come home from school and know, because he knows he's going to go watch a baby T football game on Friday night. It makes me happy to see him and... Like see him at halftime, you know, calling my name and you know calling the other kids on the team, giving us high fives and seeing him after the game. It it makes me happy. Cannon would finally get a chance to meet Baby T after a playoff game, and at last year's state championship, he received a special gift from his favorite player. Baby T gave him his jersey at the state championship game. He was in heaven again. He just couldn't believe he had a Baby T jersey, and he just has loved it. Since then, the two have become friends, a relationship that has helped Baby T through adversity. He's dealt with more tragedy than a 17-year-old should have to bear. Okay, there is Baby T at Tawate. A moment of silence for his mother. Two years ago, his mother Tina passed away. Six months ago, he lost his older brother, TJ. By his side at the funeral was his new little friend. When Baby T's brother passed away, Cannon just wanted to give Baby T a hug. And so we stopped by their house. He took a picture he'd drawn for him and gave him a hug. And from that point on, their friendship just blossomed. And Baby T has always just treated Cannon so well. And Cannon has just looked up to him. Him coming to him, I read his ruling and funeral was... Amen, Lord. I believe that Baby T is blessed with that right there. That someone like Cannon was to come into his life. It could be a blessing from his mother, his brother. It could be a blessing from God to watch over him. Because the kid actually wants to be like him. Football has brought this pair together, an unlikely friendship that is having a tremendous impact on both of their lives. I think he's always going to have somebody that he can look up to that's a good role model for him for his whole life. I think that this friendship will continue. I think it's going to make Cannon want to be a better person, and he's going to want to try hard and be successful at the things that he does because he sees somebody that he knows and loves doing that. I believe Cannon, he's starting to come around, to, you know, to know life. And he, and Baby T helping him to know life, he as well helped Baby T to understand life. He's a good kid. He's awesome.